Welcome back, everyone, to another segment of Last Day on Earth. And today, we're going to visit the three pine locations, which is your main source of gathering wood uh, for planks and constructions of all sorts. Uh, we left with our pooch from our base, so now we have a little doggy running around. A uh, side note before we get into that, I forgot to mention it with the last episode. Um, your dog, if it starts attacking too much, it gets tired. So you're going to have to... Oh, now it's pissing. Good job. <laughs> that happens too. So when it attacks too much for a long duration of time, it gets tired to a point where it'll just lay down and pretty much be useless. When that happens, don't worry, you can leave the location, it'll respawn back to your base, and and then it will regain its energy. Or, if you have doggy treats, you can just feed it doggy treats and continue exploring. So it's not necessarily needed um, to have those treats, you just have to make a trip back home when it gets too tired to move. Other than that... Um, Pretty straightforward. This is the easiest level of the pine. There's not too many zombies. Um, as you can see, there's deer running around. Um, you can you can uh, cook them in your furnace to make steak, or you can hang them out to dry uh, to make um, jerky. And I believe this forest has two uh, boxes. And usually has some random crap, but the more skill your dogs provide you, the better stuff you get from boxes. <coughs> and let me see here just one second. Alright, so I still have a little bit of time. I think we have like one more hour before the food runs out in my base for the dogs. And then I won't have any boosts. All right, let's keep going. I don't know why there's so much traffic here today. I have to close the windows at my office here. Anyways, w the dog that I replaced, uh, if you guys are watching the, just watched the uh, witch uh, tutorial, the dog that I placed provides an extra 3% uh, uh, bonus XP. Uh, which I probably should have had a long time ago would have probably helped out with leveling up um, But as you can see there's there's your uh, adhesives you find them in these chests here uh, Also to Cut down trees you need a hatchet and three pine or three oaks pine logs and uh, three limestone Make a hatchet. Ooh, there's an AI. Let's go kill him. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go I didn't have anything nice. Sometimes, um, especially in the um, the level three forest, the AIs they carry good weapons. Uh, one thing that I like about the level three forest is there's usually around two oak trees, and the AIs can't cut them down because you need iron hatchets. So they end up being like stuck or glitched next to a tree. And if you come up and attack them, they won't do anything to you because they're trying to they're trying to cut down the tree and they can't. So I've had a couple times where the AI had a VSS. Um, weapons wise, VSS is like the best weapon. It does 50 damage. Um, you can't craft it because we don't have uh, access to whatever titanium and the ash planks. But they usually have those, which is really awesome. So, that's about it. Let's see. Are you, I need cloths to make um, thick uh, fabric. Because I'm running low. Well, I'm not running low. I have a box full of them. But the extras that I make, I'm running low on those. So, there was the first location. About two to three chests, depending on what it is. Um, so let's go to the next one. Now, 
um, that level 1 usually has zombies that are about 40 HP, nothing to worry about. The second level, these zombies are gonna, they're gonna, you're gonna see more of zombies that will have 80 HP and a lot more toxic zombies, which we'll see here in a second if I can get to it. Plus, yeah, there we go. See, toxic, toxic spitters, watch out when they do that spit attack. Um, it can get you all sticky and dirty to a point where you're gonna start smelling. And if you start smelling, then basically you can't sneak up on zombies. So when you when you notice right here, so we can walk around. Your your weapons do more damage when you sneak up on zombies. So when we sneak up, bam! Usually, uh, my weapon usually does around 31 on a regular attack. Um, and I think it has 94 on a sneak attack. So let's just get rid of the zombies. Now if the big one is to show up, it would be in the, most likely in the level 3 forest. Rarely do they show up in a level 2 where we are at right now. Oh, you saw me. Switch weapons. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, it's not uncommon that he's not going to show up. He does show up. It's Honestly, it's random. But you're more likely to meet the big one in level 3 force. Hopefully, that's not the case here because I've been running out of luck lately where he's been showing up a lot more frequent. Especially in the pine. When I go to the, the stone and the iron location thing, it's called... I forgot what they're called. I should know by now. Um, I don't see him there. Uh, but when I go to the pine locations where we are right now, I see him more often here than the other place. Um, let's hopefully, yep, turkeys. Turkeys give the most food to dogs when you go put it in their dog food area. And you don't have to keep your dogs fed. It's just, I like the bonuses that the do doggies give a, give me. So, might as well keep them fed. Other than clearing this and collecting resource, um, it's honestly, there's nothing special besides the boxes. Um, each time you pick up anything off of the ground, like, see if I were to pick up this log, gives me 11 XP anything you do even like picking up berries you get experience for so other than looting pretty much everything gives you experience anything you kill um, let's just get rid of that I don't need that I do need I, I do need logs right now but I'll do that on my own time when I'm not making making a video Every time you chop down a tree or every time you uh, use your pickaxe to gather stone, you get experience points. I go with that one. I usually try to avoid that attack, but it was almost dead. Um, they're completely avoidable. You can just you, all you have to do is just run out of that circle and you'll be good to go. So we do that. Did I kill these? Take this, cause that. Then we can put it at the sewing machine and make fabric. All right. Let's. I think that was it. Let's move on to the level three location. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh, how did I miss that zombie? Oh, here we go. One more box. So, generally, it's between four and five chests in this location that's completely empty. Come on. Get in there. I don't need that. Um... 
that's pretty much it. Now, the level 3 uh, location has a new type of big monster, not big monster, zombie in it. It's called a Toxic Bloater, I believe, or Toxic Abomination. Um, there were the bloaters, the ones that we just saw, the big guys with uh, the jump. Uh, the Toxic Abominations, they just have more HP, uh, and they jump, do that pretty much jump attack as well, where they jump in the ground. But they are sense of range is really high. Like, it's increased. They can spot you pretty far away. Now, you are going to get more... Oh, I thought I heard the ground rumbling. There will be more of these toxic spitters here. Plus, you will run into foxes. Foxes um, are good for one thing. You make fur armor, not armor, but for clothing for the locations up north, the winter locations. Uh, you need to wear fur, even though they provide no protection whatsoever, but they keep you warm in that snow area if you guys unlocked it or about to unlock it. So don't go into the snow region uh, if you don't have any fur or fur clothes. And it takes a lot, I mean a lot of fur to make a whole set of um, clothes. Why did I do that? But I just killed it. But again, I have so much of it that I don't practically need it. So here comes another toxic spitter. Get him. The colonel, sometimes you guys will encounter a mini boss in the level 3 areas. One of them is going to be 52 Mike, uh, which will be a zombie with a riot shield accompanied by another zombie, uh, like a guardian zo zombie. Um, nothing too scary. Also, sometimes you guys will see... Oh shoot, I'm covering the mic. Damn it. I gotta stop doing that. Also, you guys will see uh, these kind of cars. Sometimes they will have engines inside. Uh, you can take them out, but you need a chopper to bring it to your base. Oh, and here's the big one. Son of an ass. And, and a diseased wolf. I was just about to talk about him, too. All right. Well, um, jeez. When the big one shows up, honestly, he's really hard to beat, you guys. Um, any melee attack will do one hit to him. AKs do three damage to him. ARs do one, two. Plus, he shreds through your armor like crazy. Um, so, the way to do this, you would walk out of the forest and you would run back to a, any location. Doesn't matter. You just have to walk out because it. Every time you leave on the location, it automatically resets for the gathering places. Not for places like gas station, they have a time limit. But any of these resource gathering locations, once you leave it, it's automatically reset. Uh, and once you die in there, with this new or the current update that we we're playing, your stuff is gone. So whatever you had on you, gone. So don't die in these locations. Make sure you guys have food and water or like I, like you guys see right here. I don't need to carry it because I, I can just eat these berries to recover. Plus, those chests usually have water in them um, when you open it. So, there, I mean, you can it, everything gets provided for you. You just have to play it strategically. I can't say that word. I just butchered it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk into the level 2. Probably run through everything. I don't want to record everything again. And then when I'm back. When I'm back into the level 3 forest. Uh, I will resume recording. And we will go from there to finish that area. Alright, we are back. Uh, let's hope 
hopefully the big one won't show up again like he did last time and as you can see my my level bar down there is not orange anymore which means I ran out of food for my dogs because I'm not and I hate it when it does that sometimes oh goody alright so this is the new way that you level up before you would just level up and actually it was completely different before let me just these guys right here to toxic abominations they spot you like from really far away that okay let's just all right let's just level up and then I'll talk about how before I think this is a better way of leveling up so you get to choose from three uh, if you're max level don't worry just pick any so let's just do this right even though I'm max level on this uh, perk it then randomly goes into your passive skills and it'll choose randomly for you which you haven't mastered yet so I only have two I have them iron 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 miner and the skinner that I need to max level at and since I'm by my chopper let's just grab a set set of armor since I'm here let's take this set first there all right wait where's my oh my dog's not here as well because I ran out of food I was like where's my pooch <laughs> it's all right once I get home I will drop the food that I currently have on which kind of sucks because now my chances of finding weapons inside this location are back down to their original drop rate and I hate when this happens especially when both of them run at you if you're really unlucky you get like three running after you and they all spit at the same time the spit attacks are avoidable uh, just whenever you fight with th with them stay close to them don't try to keep your distance so when you spot that oh Okay, that one was about that one that one was almost dead so there's an AI oh my goodness are you kidding me see this is what I'm talking about and you usually know that the big one uh, is here when you feel the ground shake but I think this is gonna be it um, the only the only difference uh, between the level 2 and level 3 is that the big guy is an asshole and he shows up more frequently here um, now it's I think it's just me because I encounter the big one a lot more here instead of this location right here instead of the limestone spurs I almost never encounter him there so I guess it's kind of balancing it, even though it sucks because I need to I still need to be here because I need to kill the colonel and he only shows up in in this location so I will gonna have to do the same thing again unfortunately I don't know why my connection is lost but it's okay uh, I think this is gonna be it uh, there are usually about six chests five to six chests um, depending on the amount of luck you guys have it's honestly random always random um, but as you when I was running out if you saw that orange tree that's an oak tree usually there's about two or three of them in here also that's always random as well sometimes you won't see any sometimes you'll just see one uh, those can only be cut down with the iron hatchet but once you guys open this watchtower here um, you'll be able to access this forest which has almost all of the trees are oaks um, oaks can be used to craft uh, better walls around your house and so forth that was it for the pine locations I knew this was gonna be an issue going into making this video because I always encountered a big one in that location and I was like man hopefully it doesn't come out but as you saw two times in a row the big one showed up but anyways thank you guys for tuning in 
I'm gonna stop ranting on and then the next video I will probably probably head to the PD the police department because it's it's pretty easy I'm gonna leave the alpha bunker for later because it has a lot it has three floors to clear plus you can activate the security protocol and you have to clear it all over again so let's go with the PD next and then we'll go to the motel and then we'll come to the gas station right here um, and then Bravo bunker we'll talk uh, we'll probably hit Bravo bunker and alpha because you don't really get to do anything in Bravo bunker so thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you in the next video